Hey everybody, welcome again to Power for Parkinson's. Today it's Rhythm and Moves, yes. And I'm Nancy, I'm coming to you from our wonderful Power for Parkinson's office slash studio right here in Austin, Texas. We have gorgeous weather today. It's in the low 80s, very crisp, not a cloud in the sky or maybe one or two, really lovely. So we are all feeling kind of happy because we've had some over 100 degree weather and lots of humidity and it's been feeling terrible. So yes, everyone's feeling good. <laughs> I hope you are. So. So I have a little treat in store for you today, but before we get fully started and get going with our little movement today, I want to say a shout out to Heidi and Richard and Dave and Barbie. So my regulars, thank you so much for showing up. Uh, if you're on and you can say hello to us in the chat, please do so. Oh, Natalie is there. Wonderful. Another one of our regulars. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, so we, we are going to keep things going as much as we can today. Um, if you're feeling not great, um, you know from taking my classes, just go at your own pace. If you're standing and you have to sit down, that's fine. If one shoulder is bothering you, you can limit the movement on that side. Same with the leg, like hip, knee, ankle, whatever. Do what you need to do. Um, I, unfortunately, I can't see you, but if there's something that you think I might need to know about, please do let me know. Um, and then I will try to remember to mention accommodations for you. And I will try to do that as much as I can. Uh, it's just really hard for me since I can't see you. <laughs> uh, I have to kind of imagine. But so I want to just remind everybody today that we are continuing to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. And that goes from September 15th, which was last week. We kicked it off with Maggie's class all the way through to October 15th. And we are, there are a lot of different opportunities. Uh, last Tuesday, this past Tuesday, we had Dr. Maria de Leon interviewed by Nina. And that is actually available. That interview is now available on YouTube on our uh, powerful. powerful people playlist so you can look at that and pretty soon we're going to have a Spanish language version of an interview for you so we are expanding our horizons in many ways please do help us if you have a friend that has Parkinson's or another movement disorder and happens to be a Spanish language speaker um, and you would like to invite them on, now's the time to do it. We are really supporting all of our Hispanic families, um, their, their participants, our staff, and our community members. So please continue to join us and we have now a Spanish exercise playlist for you. So thank you to our staff members, Garden, but especially to Mary Holder, who has put together some exercises for you in Spanish. So just something else to broaden your horizons. And you don't have to be a Spanish speaker to take it. You can learn. Remember, learning a language is especially beneficial for your brain. If you're new to our YouTube channel, please try to subscribe. It's wonderful, it's easy, and it's not expensive. You can get our live streams, but you also have access to our videos. And you all know that when you miss a class, you always have 
the videos available to go back to, which is great. That makes our lives so much easier, especially when we have unexpected things happen and doctor's appointments that we can't change that conflict with our classes and all of those things. So go for those videos if you miss a class. It's great. All right. Don't forget to like us for our classes. You can give us thumbs up and comments. We love that. Also on our Facebook page and Instagram. Let's get started. Wiggle forward in your chairs so that your back is away from the back of the chair. Sit up nice and tall. Toes are straight ahead. There, your feet are about hip width apart. Knees are lined up with your toes and also your hip sockets. Shoulders are over your hips. Chin resting on that wonderful imaginary shelf so your chin doesn't drop, lift, or push forward and strain those neck muscles, which we want to keep soft. Hands on your thighs, and we can start with some music. So press against your thighs, lift your spine up, just about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more if you can. Try to minimize the tension by continuing to breathe. Good, stay there with your spine. Feel that length in your spine. Relax your hands and wrists. Release your forearms and elbows. Relax your upper arms and shoulders. Soften those neck muscles again. Wiggle your jaw. Good, stick your tongue out and say, ah, good. Wiggle your tongue around in your mouth. La, 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 Yes. Poof your cheeks out. Suck your cheeks in. Relax your cheeks. Wrinkle up your nose twice. Lift your eyebrows up and down twice. Squeeze your whole face together. Open it out wide, eyes and mouth. And relax and shake it out. Good. Let's begin with our sun salutation. Arms are down. Big wide reach as you let your arms float up and you breathe in. Breathe out. Hands come down, thumbs at your breastbone to remind it also to lift. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Lift and lengthen. Feel your head floating up like a balloon filled with helium. Breathe in here, breathe out, reach forward and down, go as far as it's comfortable, touch toes or ankles or maybe shins or knees. Big breath in again, reaching forward and up. Breathe out, exhale, relax the shoulders, relax the elbows. Let's try it again and again, big wide reach. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, Breathe out, lift and lengthen the spine. Easy in your shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. Reach forward and down. See if you can go a little further and bring your chin toward your chest. Breathe in, reaching forward and up. Breathe out, exhale, staying tall in your spine. Last time, a little faster. Big breath in and out. Big breath in and out. Lift and lengthen. Breathe in, breathe out. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Breathe in again, all the way up. Breathe out, exhale. Relax your shoulders and elbows. Lift your chest and spine. Turn your chest, shoulders and head to the right. Come back to center. Chest, shoulders, and head to the left. Come back to center. Gentle twist again. Chest, shoulders, and head right. Back to center. Chest, shoulders, and head left. Back to center. Good. Bring your hands a little bit away from your chest. Relax your shoulders. Gently push your left hand toward your right. Come back through center, push your right hand towards your left. 
and again. Push over to the right, keep those hands flat, and over to the left, and one more time. Push, and push, and come back to center. Good, push your fingers forward now. Swing one arm back, one arm reaches forward. And swing, begin your swing. Long, stretchy arms. The arm reaching behind is reaching as far as the one reaching in front. So you really want to think about equal reaching in both directions. Send the energy flowing down your arms from your chest. Really visualize lines of energy going down your arms, through your hands, and out your fingertips like laser beams, turning you into those superheroes that we all know you are. Turn your head toward your back hand when you're ready. Nice, easy turning of the head. And rest. Shoulders up and drop. Stay tall in the spine. Up and drop. Up and drop. Good. Rolling the shoulders up. Push back and down. Up. Push back and down. Up. Push back and down. Fingertips float up to your shoulders. If you can't reach your shoulders, place your hands on your chest, right on your pectoral muscles. Open your elbows out and touch. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Open out, stay wide in your chest. Circle the elbows. Down, forward, up and around. 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 Good, right from here, gentle twist again. Right and left, getting taller. Right and left, right and left, right and left. Come back to center, repeating this part. In and open, squeeze your shoulder blades together here. In and open, in and open in and open circle down forward up and around 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 stay nice and wide arms unfold palms and inside elbows are reaching for the ceiling looking at the ceiling now they rotate to the back wall they look up to the ceiling they rotate to the back wall they look up to the ceiling one more. They rotate and they look up to the ceiling. And now you're shifting your rib cage as you're reaching for the walls. Reach and reach and reach and reach. Rotate your arms so the palms and inside elbows are looking toward the floor. This time wiggle your fingers as though you were gonna tickle the walls. That's it. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come back to center and relax. Let the arms just hang. Shake the water off the arms. Shake, 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 shake. Relax, sitting tall. Let's work on our neck muscles for a minute. Sitting really tall, turn your head to the right. Nice smooth turn, back to center to the left, back to center. Looking up, just the neck moves, back to center without moving the torso. Look down in between your feet and center. Let's look to the left and center, to the right and center. Looking up and center, Looking down, just the neck moves, and center. Tilt to the right, and center, and left, and center, and right, and center, and left, and center. Now we're gonna do a half circle. So we're gonna drop the ear over to the right side, then we're gonna drop our head down 
chin toward the chest, over to the left, and come up. Tilt over to the left, left ear looking toward the floor. Round over, just the neck moves. Chin toward the chest, over to the right, and come back up. Wiggle the shoulders. Imagine that you have that big pencil coming out of the center of the top of your head and you're gonna draw a small circle on the ceiling. Keep those neck muscles very soft. This is not a big circle. This is a very small circle. So slight tilt right, slight tilt back, slight tilt left, slight tilt forward. Let's go the other way. Slight tilt left, slight back, a little bit to the right and forward. One more time, right, back, think about the pencil drawing that small circle, left and forward, reverse, left, back, right, forward, drop your head all the way over now. Round your shoulders, top of the head going down toward your knees. Now push the top of your head forward, lengthen your back, flatten your back. Use your hands to press into your thighs, pull your elbows behind you. Back of the neck is long, Lift the spine. Let's do that again. Round your head over, just your head. Chin toward the chest. Now the shoulders round. Top of the head going down toward your knees. Top of the head now moving forward toward your camera or screen. Hands pressing into your thighs, elbows pulling back. Back of the neck long, lengthen your spine and lift. Good, take a big breath and release. One more. Take a big breath and release. Good. Take your right hand, put it on the outside of your left thigh. Left hand goes to the back of your chair down low where the back of the chair meets the seat. Sit up really tall, breathe in. On the exhale, turn your chest, shoulders, and head to the left side. Take another breath in. On the exhale, turn and look behind your back shoulder. Even your eyes want to stretch and look behind you. Now still breathing, keep this twist in your spine, but gently turn your head over your front shoulder. Breathe here and relax and wiggle it out with a little shimmy. Take your left hand, put it on the outside of your right thigh. Right thigh, right hand at the back of your chair, down low where it meets the seat. Breathe in. Exhale, turn your chest, shoulders, and head to look to the right. Breathe in again. On the exhale, turn your head and look behind that back shoulder. Stretch your eyes to look as far back as possible. Still breathing, turn your head and look over your front shoulder. Breathe and relax and shimmy it out. Good, all right. Let's wiggle a little bit in our chair just to move our hips around. Come back to center, slide your right foot out. Toe is pulling back toward the shin and bring it in. And the left, toe is pulling back toward the shin and come in. I do this every week because I want you to really lengthen the back of your legs. So many of you have tight hamstrings and tight ligaments at the backs of your knees. So we're trying to stretch those out every week. So you keep those legs as limber as possible. Toes pulling back and in, toes pulling back and in. Turn your toes out, same thing on the diagonal. And don't forget that you're using your core muscles and still sitting tall. Slide out to the right. Good, slide out to the left. Good, come back, toes facing the front. Slide that right leg out. Place your hands on your opposite thigh. 
pull the toes of your right foot back toward the shin and really lengthen the whole back of the leg. Now breathe in, exhale, tilt forward. Flat back, that same flat back that we were working on when we pushed the top of our head forward. We're not doing quite as much of a tilt now. Pull your bellies in here. Reach for your foot with both hands. Slice the air, arms come up. Turn the palms, push the air down, and bring your leg in. Slide the other leg out. Pull the toes back toward the shin, hands on the opposite thigh, big breath in. Exhale, tilt forward. Good, looking at those toes, reach for those toes. Slice the air up, turn the palms out, push the air down and bring the leg in. Turn the toes out, slide the right leg out, toes pulling back toward the shin. Reach with the right arm toward the same foot all the way up and pull away from you. Now you can take a hold of the front chair leg or the back chair leg if you want even more stretch. Breathe, come up, hold your chair, slide in. Other side, left leg out, toes pulling back toward that shin, left arm reaches for the toes, up and pulling back. Your right hand can hold on to the front chair leg or the back chair leg. Big pulling away from that leg. Good, and lift up, hold your chair, come back in, open heels, toes, heels, toes. Sitting nice and tall, hands inside of your thighs to stretch your adductor muscles. Press, release, press, release, press, release, press, release, press and stay. Breathe in, exhale and tilt forward. There's that diagonal tilt again, long flat back, back of the neck is long. Press the legs open and push the feet into the floor. And sit tall, relax. Wiggle the shoulders up and down, alternating. Now back and forth, little sharp shimmy here. Good job, and toe heel in. Take another big breath. Exhale, scoop under your right leg, lift it up and put it down. Scoop under your left leg, lift it up and put it down. Scoop under your right leg, lift it up, stay there. Drop your shoulders and lift your chest. We're gonna do four hip circles. The lower leg is very loose. And up, out, around and down. 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 Stay here, drop the shoulders, lift the chest, bring the foot up. Circle the ankle, one, two, we're drawing with that big toe, three, and reverse it, one, two, three. Push the door shut with the bottom of your foot. Lift your chest and spine, hold it, and relax the leg down carefully, bring it in. Scoop under the opposite leg, Lift it up, drop your shoulders, lift your chest. Lower leg is very loose. Circle the thigh, up, out, around and down. 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 Lift it up, drop the shoulders, lift the chest, bring the foot forward, flex the foot. Drawing with the big toe. Circle one, make these big, two, three, and reverse it. One, two, three. Push the door shut with the bottom of your foot, lift your chest and spine, hold it, and slowly let that leg relax down and bring it in. Good, take another breath. All right, we're gonna speed some things up now. So sitting nice and tall.
chest pump your arms. Little marches. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, slow it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. We're going to open out faster. Ready in English. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and in. Two, three, four, five, six, slower. One, two, three, four, back in. Five, six, seven. In Spanish, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, Seis, siete, ocho, otra vez. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. With a little kick. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Clapping overhead with the kick. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two more. Last one. Take a breath. Woo! Shimmy it out. All right. We're going to learn a new step. It's a mambo step. Now, usually we do this standing, so doing it sitting is a little tricky. But we're going to step forward and lean a little bit forward with the right. Lift the back leg up just a tiny bit and then come back to center. Then with the left, lean back to center. Lean, pick up that, just the heel of that other leg back to center. Step back to center, right back to center, left back to center, right back to center, left back to center. Now we're going to add an arm with a push. So we're going to push. I have the heel of this foot coming off slightly. Push back to center, other side, push, the heel of this foot is coming up a little bit, back to center, push, back to center, push, back to center, mambo, 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 again, and mambo, 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 good. All right, hold on to that thought, that mambo, with a little push with the opposite arm, because we will come back to that standing and then in what we're going to learn. Right now, if we can have some music back again, I want you to wiggle back in your chair, walking back with your hips as far back as you can into your chair. Now, walk forward. If you need to hold the chair, you may. Otherwise, you can place your hands on your thighs or on your shoulders. Wiggle forward in your chair. Use your hips to wiggle. Let's do that again. Wiggle back as far as you can. Wiggle forward. Walk on your sit bones. Good. All right, hold your chair. We're gonna do that hitch kick that we did again. So we're gonna tilt back, we're gonna lift right, left, and then down with the right, left. Lean back, right, left, right, left. Hitch kick and down. Hitch kick and down. Lift, lift, down, down. Lift, lift, down, down. Let's add the arms. Lift, lift, down, down. 
lift, lift, down, down. Got to use those belly muscles. Lift, lift, down, down. Lift, lift, down, down. Two more. Lift, lift, down, down. Lift, lift, down, down. Roll up, sitting tall, hands on your thighs. Breathe and little jumps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rolling, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Shoulders, 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 shoulders. Jumps, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, bigger, seis, siete, ocho. Good, one more time, going backwards. Ocho, siete, seis, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Woo! All right, wiggle it out. Wiggle a little bit more back in your chair so you have a nice firm position. We are going to shift into our sailing dance now. So sitting nice and tall, start with your hands on the thighs. I'm gonna review it for you, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the quality of the movement. So we begin with our head tilting to the right, back, left, forward. There's that same small head circle. Don't grind your neck, okay? This is a very soft, very small head circle. So right, back, left, forward, reverse. Left, back, right, forward. Then we lean. So we lean, we initiate with the whole torso and the head. Leaning out of the boat, okay? Over the side of the boat, we feel the water. We stir with a big rotation of our wrist, one and two. We come up, two, three, four. We reach down the other side, really leaning over. Stir the water here, big wrist circle here. Coming up, two, three, four. Now with the wind, we feel the wind. Circle the wrists, circle, eyes following, circle. And now we're looking up at the sky. Right from here, we begin. This is where the lyrics start. The right arm goes up and it dives down and we follow it with our eyes up and dive down on the left. Right arm comes all the way up again and dives down, up, dive down. So four of those. Then we inflate the sail, coming up to that big, wide, rounded shape. Not bent elbows here. This is a round shape. You really want to think about round. Now we're going to twist to the right first. Right, left, right, left, right, left, three times. So that's the whole first phrase. Let me just get my notes out in case I skip anything. So right from here, we're going to open out and scoop down. You really want to almost touch the floor. This is picking up the sails or the sheets, putting them on your shoulders. Open, circle, one, two, three, four. Arms down, inflate the sail again, and twisting right, left, right, left. Third time, right, left. Now from here, come center and expand your chest. Expand the arms from the curve 
to the straight diagonal. This is where we have that chorus, sailing takes me away. So here, two, three, four, top arm, that's your right, slices down toward the left hand. Then you swirl in a circle, right, back, up and around to the right, left, back, up and around to the left, clap the hand softly, lift up, and the spray comes down on your body. Yes? So that is, that's the beginning phrase there. From here, we will repeat this part, leaning two, three, four, circle, circle, come up six, seven, eight, leaning two, three, four, circle, circle, come up six, seven, eight, circle, 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 circle. But right from here, second time we do that, we're gonna go back into this whole sailing phrase, yes? Tilt, tilt, slice, whirl around to the right, whirl around to the left, clap. So this is catching a wave, lift, and feel the spray, the ocean spray coming down. Okay, so we're just gonna go that far. I want you to feel the quality of the movement and use your imagination as much as possible to imagine that you're in the boat. We have a day like today in Austin. It's in the low 80s, there's a breeze, it's dry, there's a lot of sun, beautiful blue sky, and you're out on the water just having a great time. So let's try this once, then I'm gonna kind of tweak it a little bit and we'll try it again. Sitting tall. Ready? Head to the right, around, make those neck muscles soft. To the left, lean to the right, stir. Coming up to the other side, stir, stir. Coming up, hands, feel the wind, two, three, four, right arm. Well, it's not far down to paradise. Left, At least it's not right arm again, big reach. Right, you can sail away, Left. Oh, the Big inflating. Twist Just right, left, Leave right, left, third time. Come center, it's open, out, to never, never down, bend. lift, up, touch, open, circle, right, circle, 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 circle. Oh, down to inflate, big round shape. Turn right, left, right, left, right. Here comes our sailing, come center. Big stretch. Really reach those arms as much as you can. Top arm slices across, big whirl, right? And left, and catch the wave. Let the spray come down. Lean right. Stir. Coming up. Other side. Stirring. Lift. Feel the wind. Going right into sailing again. Catch the wave. Good. All right. Take a breath. 
We're going to do it again one more time. I want you to think about making your movements as big and clear as possible. As big and clear as possible. So these arms are not just here, they're here. They're really big. This is really stretched as much as you can stretch it. The swirl is as big as you can make it, yes? When you do this twist, it's not mechanical. It's not stiff. There's a kind of, uh, it's, I guess in music you would call it a reverberation or a reverb. There's a little kind of, a little, a little kind of it kind of blows. I want you to think of the sail blowing. So there's a little kind of, ah, uh, and then it comes back the other way. It goes a little past that place and then comes back. So think about the quality of the movement. This is really important. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Head to the right and around, to the left and around. Lean, stir, stir, up, other side, feel the water, stir, stir, coming back up, sitting in the boat, feel the wind, looking at the sky, right arm, well, it's not far down to paradise. left, Right, left, inflate that nice, big, giant, round shape. Twist, twist, soft, let the sails blow. Come center, big reach, reach down, lift, touch, open, circle. Circle, make these big. Arms go down and out. Gentle twist. Open to sail. Swirl to the right, left, catch the wave, lean, stir, stir, coming up, lean to the left, stir, stir, lift, Feel the wind again, looking at the sky, into sailing. Big swirl to the right. Catch the wave. And we're going to stop there. Okay, so it's really important to focus on the quality of the movement now that you have it a little bit more clearly in your memory because quality is what sets this apart from just simply doing an exercise. The, this movement, this dance-like movement is more mindful because it's it's more than just simply moving something up and down. It's the quality that we're going for. And that pushes what's happening in your brain to a new level. Okay, pull your feet back. We're going to speed things up. Rock and roll. Ready? No rolling. <laughs> and lift. And again, lift. Use your hands if you need to. Push. Push down in your feet and push and lift, feeling tall, breathe, bend your knees slightly, move your hips side to side, just move your hips, 
good. Move your hips and arms. See if you can keep those hips moving as we go around to the back of our chair. All right, I'm gonna move these up here. Little marching behind your chair. I'll move this over so you can see my feet. Open out, in, out, in. Nice parallel position, ready parallel plies. Bend and stretch, lift and lower. Bend and stretch, lift, lower. Bend, stretch, lift, lower. Bend, stretch, lift, lower. Turn your feet out, holding your chair. Ready, and bend, stretch, lift, lower. Plie, straight, releve, down. Plie, straight, releve, down. Plie, straight, releve, down. Good, come back to parallel. Parallel feet, so heels are apart. Bend your knees, holding your chair, hula hoop, right, back, left, forward, right, back, left, forward. Those knees stay bent, reverse, left, back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward. Now we're gonna take smaller circles, still holding your chair. Ready? Right around. Hula hoop, keeping the knees bent. And let's go to the left, smaller circles. Good, wiggle it out. All right, from behind your chair, some weight shifts. Turn your feet out. Step out, push back to center. Step out, push back to center. The out, the leg that steps out plies. Bent leg, straight. Use the floor to push back to center. Use your floor to push back to center. Shift. Good. All right, now. Come to the side of your chair. We're going to mambo. So we're gonna step forward, push back. Forward, push back. Forward, push back. Forward, push back. But we're gonna add a hip. So hip, 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 hip hip, step out, push back, step out, push back. Remember when we did it seated, the back foot doesn't really come off the floor, but the heel comes up. So back heel comes up, back heel comes up, back heel comes up. If you're feeling comfortable with this, add your push hand, push, 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 mambo. So you shift onto that foot, push back. Shift onto that foot, push back. Shift, push back. Shift, push back. Shift, push back. Good. Got it? Wiggle those hips out. All right. Step right, left, right, nod right. Step left, right, left, nod left. So there are three steps and then a nod. Everybody with me? Right, left, right, nod right. Left, right, left, nod left. Right, left, right, nod right. Left, right, left, nod left. One, two, three, nod. 
one, two, three, nod. Right, left, right, nod. Left, right, left, nod. Let's add a little hip action. Right, left, right, nod. Left, right, left, nod. 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 Put all that in the parking lot. Everybody with me? Okay. Coming from behind the chair. Turn your feet out, heels touching, and a little tap, tapping of the toe and close. Tapping of the toe and close. Stretching the foot, close. Stretching the foot, close. This is a tondu. That means to stretch, stretch, and stretch. Lift your knees up and up and up and up. Step out, step out. Demi plie in second and straight. Demi plie second and straight. Demi plie second and straight. Two bigger ones. Grand plie and straight. Grand plie, pull the skinny jeans all the way up. Zip the magic zipper. Flatten the toothpaste tube from the tailbone all the way up. Squirt the toothpaste out the top of your head. Getting even taller, grow at least an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. Let go, let go. Wipe the ceiling. Clean that toothpaste off. Open wide. All right. Show me those jazz hands coming down. Hold your chair, bend your knees, toe heel in. Wiggle it out again. All right, I am going to move my chair out of the way. And my papers. And we're going to start to this side of your room. So if you can, come over to this side of your room facing left. So your left, this is your right. We're gonna start moving forward and we can do this without music for right now. So we're gonna start with that, that three step with the nod that I showed you and we're gonna do it 12 times. So we start with the right. Right, left, right, sorry, my hands are on my hips. Right, left, right, nod right, left, right, left, nod left, right, left, right. Notice I'm moving forward. That was four, five, six. Now we're gonna turn one, two, three, four, five, six. Everybody got that? So there's six of each. Six moving in this direction from here to here. Six turning and moving a little bit forward. The steps are small, very, very small. From here, six, now you're gonna step out slightly on the right and roll, then left, then no step, right, and left. Then wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yes? From there comes the mambo step five times. One, two, three, four, five, and then the hands go boom, 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 and the hips go hip, hip, hip. Yes? So let's go over that again. From here, we have hands on hips, right, left, right, nod, right, left, right, left, nod, left, 
We do six of these. Then we're going to turn, starting on the right, left, right, six of those. I'm not doing all six, yes. From here, a little step on your right, roll two, three, four, a little step on your left, roll two, three, four, no step, two, three, four, roll two, three, four, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Come, then the mambo step five times, right, left, right, left, right, that was five, and the hands go boom, 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 along with the hips, boom, boom, boom. So whatever feels good to you, if you want to do the hips, boom, 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 right, left, right, or left, right, left, whatever works for you. Now we're going to add a little something special. A maraca. The maraca stays in your right hand. If you don't have a maraca, guess what? I have a way for you to make one, <laughs> okay? I have a whole collection. So normally when I teach this dance, everybody gets one of these. But here's your maraca. Look familiar? <laughs> your toilet paper roll, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Save this. And here's what you can do. Let me set this down for just a sec. So you have your toilet paper roll. You tape the bottom. Tape one end. Really tape it. Yes? Duct tape works really well. Fill the inside about halfway full with beans or rice or a combination of beans and rice. Tape the top. If you want to decorate it, you can put some colored paper around it. You can decorate it with markers if you want, preferably markers that won't come off on your hands. <laughs> or you can just leave it. And then you have a shaker. So toilet paper roll, tape the bottom, fill with beans or rice or both about halfway, tape the top, and you have a shaker. All right, we're going to try this with our new song. So Garden's going to give us the song. It's in your right hand. Hands are on your hips. We're going to wait for three eights. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, turn. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Roll. Roll. Wiggle. Mambo. Four, last one. All right, let's do it one more time. Surprise, it's a little bit fast. That's why the steps are small. So count in your head, one, two, three. And I will cue you when we've gotten to six and I tell you to turn and when we've gotten all the way to 12. So can we have it up just a little louder so I can hear the beginning? Hands on hips. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six. Still holding. Three, two, three, four, five, six. Ready, go. Right, left, right, nod. Left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Turning. That's four, five, left, and right. Left, right, left, wiggle in place. Mambo, right, left, right, left, one more to the right. 
Here we go. Got it. Okay. So your homework is to make a maraca if you want out of that toilet paper roll, okay? <laughs> a little shaker for next week. And we will repeat this next week. We're gonna go slow with this. The movements are fairly simple and fairly confined, but there is some direction changing. So those of you that might be on a walker, you can still do this on a walker. You're just gonna to need to be moving your walker and you might wanna not use the maraca. Okay, I'll give you that little tip. Just think about moving the walker. All right, we're gonna to have to end it there. Get ready to sing out. I hope you enjoyed yourselves today and had some fun with salsa dance or mambo. Fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you if you're young at heart, and I know you all are. For it's hard you will find to be narrow of mind if you're young at heart. You can go to extremes with impossible schemes. You can laugh when your dreams fall apart at the seams. And life gets more exciting with each passing day. And love is either in your heart or on its way. All right, plant those feet, smile, and take a bow for yourselves. And again, with a bigger smile, and a little bit bigger bow. As you are, and this time, the biggest smile of your day. Come on, those of you. And a big bow for yourselves. Turn to your right. You Thank the audience over to, to the right and, and to the left for coming today. And all of you on the screen. And here is the best part. You have a head start. If you are among the very young at heart, and we all are, okay. Thank you, everybody. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> There's another one. Cha-cha mambo. Yes, salsa. All righty. So, in addition to Heidi, Richard, Dave, and Barbie, and Natalie, we have Karen, Nina, Robert and Awaz. Anybody else there? Clara, are you there? I keep missing you. And if you're there, I'd love to say hi to you. I'm so glad you're coming on if you did. Anybody else? Say hello. Okay. <laughs> Good. Lots of thank you. Yes. Oh, I, I love this. Barbie says she loves this chair dance. Yes, I know it is probably one of the most beloved chair dances that we do. And Robert said it's a way of cooling off, which is why I did it in the first place, because <laughs> when I first choreographed it, we were in a huge heat wave and I was like, oh, we got to do something. So we imagined that we were sailing. And we always have to thank Christopher Cross, who is one of our own here in Texas and right here in this central Texas area. So also I wanted to let you know that that song that we're using for our salsa dance is called Pulpa de Tamarindo. It means the pulp of the tamarind fruit and it's sung by Celia Cruz who is fantastic. So if you want to find that piece of music, again it's Pulpa de Tamarindo and it's sung by Celia Cruz. So don't forget that. We will come back to it next week. And don't forget, it's Hispanic Heritage Month. We are continuing all week and next week and the week after up to October 15th with activities in our classes, special guests like Dr. Maria de Leon that Nina interviewed on Tuesday, 
and Garden is going to be interviewing in Spanish. Um, so we're celebrating our participants, our, their family members, our staff, and our community to honor Hispanic Heritage Month. And we would love you to continue with us in celebrating them. In addition, we now have a set of Spanish led exercises, so they're in Spanish, and Garden and Mary Holder have both been instrumental in making that happen. So that's a big plus. Please invite your uh, friends who are Spanish speakers and might have Parkinson's or a movement disorder to join us. As always, don't forget, I like those comments. I love those thumbs up. Also on Facebook and Instagram, we love you all. Please stay safe. Stay well, be careful out there, yes, okay? And be good to yourselves. Be good to yourselves, be patient. I know this is still a difficult time. So I love you all, and you know what I'll say, no falling. <laughs> See you next week. Take care, have a wonderful rest of your week and weekend. Love you, bye.